Okay, so I want to look at like sp some specific questions that students have missed. So this is an example of a question that was missed by, by several students. And it's also a fairly important concept here um, that I want to go over. So we have a regression that's already been run. Here's our data. Uh, it's paired data. And they call that um, bivariate data is, is often what it's, what it's called. Um, this means, oh, there it is, bivariate data. That means that each person in the study, there's 15 of them, each person had a generalized anxiety score, and that's paired with that person's sleep time from the night before. So you have to have that data paired in order to run, run this regression or run a correlation. And we have a equation there of our, our best fitting uh, trend line. One thing to note, by the way, the slope here is negative. And you can also see that in the fact that it's a downhill slope. Uh, that's going to mean that we have a negative correlation. The sign of the correlation and the sign of the slope will always match up. Those two always go together. Positive correlation, positive slope. Negative slope, negative correlation. The number itself might be different, but the sign will always, always be the same. So when they ask us for these data, sleep times that are less than the mean of the sleep time tend to be paired with GAS scores that are blank. Well, where are the scores that are less than the mean? So we can think of the mean as somewhere halfway here in the, the sleep time. So most of the ones below that mean are over here. Uh, yeah, over here. And what are those in terms of the anxiety? Well, those are the higher anxieties, right? Our anxiety mean is somewhere there around five or something. And so these people down here have higher than average anxiety and lower than average sleep. So sleep times that are less than the mean tend to be paired with GAS scores that are greater than the mean. Now, a little, little thing that might help you remember this, if, if your correlation is positive, that means as one goes up, the other tends to go up. In other words, these two, less than and less than, those will match up if it's a positive correlation. If one's less than, the other will be less than. If one's greater than, the other will be greater than. That's in the case of a positive correlation. That's not what we had here. How do we know again? One, it's a negative slope, it's a downhill slope, and we have a negative slope in the equation as well. Um, negative slope always means negative correlation. So because it's a negative correlation, these two should be the opposite. If this is less than, this one has to be greater than. If this is greater than, this would have to be less than. So positive correlation, they match up. Negative correlation, they're going to be the opposite of each other. Uh, according to the regression equation, for, one, for an increase of 1 in GAS score, which is our x variable, there's a corresponding decrease of how many hours in sleep time. So anytime you have this linked connection between the two, it's going to be somehow connected to slope. The intercept is independent. In intercept isn't going to change. Look, it's always going to be 8.35, regardless of what the value of x is. But the slope is going to cause a change in our y, uh, depending on what the x is. So it says if we increase in 1 on the x, well, that 1, that extra 1, is going to get multiplied by negative 0.27 and it's going to take this predicted y down a notch, date down 0.27 to be precise. Uh, so this is a correct answer here. For an increase of 1 in the GAS score, there's a corresponding decrease of 0.27 hours of sleep time. 